Hey guys, <clears throat> excuse the wet hair, I just got out of the shower. Hey guys, I'm here to review the Wet n Wild Coverall Foundation line. So I have here is a CoverGirl Cream Foundation, the Wet n Wild Coverall Liquid Concealer, and then the CoverGirl Powder. One Wild came out with this line um, a couple months ago, so it's fairly new to the market, and I'm pretty late in reviewing this. I was quite hesitant to, you know, try on this new product because I have so many things that I still have to finish up. But um, Rite Aid has 40% off on Wet n Wild products, and these products are pretty inexpensive. Um, the Wet n Wild Coverall Foundation is about $3.99, and 40% off it came out to about two something. The Coverall um, concealer was $2.99 and with a 40% off it came out to about $1.50 and then the Coverall pressed powder was about $2.99 I believe and same thing, it's about $1 to $2 or so. So they're pretty inexpensive products so I was quite hesitant to try on this product because I have very very sensitive skin. I have very oily and acne prone sensitive skin so I didn't really want to, I am not really one to just kind of venture out into a new foundation like every couple months because my skin will kind of freak out and just not, it's not good for my skin. First I'm going to talk about the Cover All Liquid Foundation. This foundation claims to be um, it's an all-day wear foundation. It's from medium to full coverage, lightweight, satin matte finish, and it's it's got Invisibrite complex, so it reduces the appearance of wrinkles and rejuvenates skin. Um, um, this foundation color I have is medium tan, which is not my shade at all. It is very, very, very light for my skin, so I had to compensate by applying bronzer all over my face just to make the shade work for me as well as the powder. On the application side of this video, you will see the actual coverage of the product. As far as the application of the foundation on the skin, I feel since it is kind of a heavier foundation, um, I don't really like how it feels on the skin. I wouldn't say it's sticky, but you can feel that it's there. Um, as far as um, topping it off with the powder, the powder is really, really nice. It kind of has the same kind of feel as the Revlon Nearly Naked Powder. It is very, very creamy and it has kind of cover, it provides some coverage, but the color again is too light for me, so it's not something I could um, dust heavily on my skin, so I definitely need a kabuki brush to kind of diffuse the, color, the powder all over my face, just so my face doesn't look too pale, because the powder does provide some coverage. As far as the concealer, um, the concealer probably is my least favorite of the of the three because this concealer is quite dry. It is very, um, I don't recommend you using this on the under eye area because it's a very, very dry concealer. The skin around the eye area doesn't really have that much moisture and it doesn't really produce too much oils or anything like that. So this product just kind of like dries that area out. The shade I got for the concealer is in beige, which is really, really light. I got two shades of the concealer. I got medium and I got beige, and both of them is pretty similar to color, and they're too light for me to use as a spot concealer for all over my face, so I don't really use it. I didn't really use it for that purpose, but I used it underneath my eye, and I don't recommend you using it underneath your eye because it is a very, very dry kind of consistency. I prefer um, a liquid concealer under my eyes that is a little bit more moisturizing but not oily, um, which is kind of like my favorite, which is the Instant Age Rewind by Maybelline. I prefer that much better over this Wet n Wild concealer. So I wasn't really that, f like, I'm not that big a fan of this concealer. Since it is really dry, it's kind of hard to blend in. And you can see on my video that I kind of had to circle it all over my eye area just to blend it out. It clings onto the dry spots in your like under eye area, which you, which is a, which I wasn't a fan of. This foundation doesn't have any scent to it, nor does it have any SPF, which is kind of a downfall because I'd like my foundations to have a little bit more sun protection. As far as the coverage of this foundation, this covers pretty well. I kind of had to just to go through 
my face maybe once and I just kind of went through spots in my face to kind of conceal just a couple of areas where I have redness where I have like a little bit pimple right here and my cheek area is quite red in general so I had to just go over it again with a little bit of the product I didn't apply too much of the product since it is kind of heavy heavier as far as coverage which is nice but then again I feel like you can get really really cakey with this product if you are not careful so this is kind of the product on my face maybe an hour into application um, I have a little bit of shininess around the nose maybe from the lighting the way the, the, the lighting is kind of hitting me and mainly because the bronzer I believe this is in bikini contest um, has a little bit of sheen to it which I applied all over my face just to compensate the fact that the foundation is really really light to make it work for me so um, that's where that shininess is coming from and I'll be back in a little bit to show you guys what the foundation looks like a couple of hours of wear um, given the California weather it's really hot outside right now so I'll be back maybe in a, maybe four or five hours just to show you guys how the foundation holds up When I say I have really oily skin, I am not kidding. And it's been about six hours since wearing the Wet n Wild foundation and I haven't touched my face nor have I blotted throughout the day. So I just basically set my makeup with the powder from the, from the same line and you could tell I am very very oily. Like that is like gross face status so um, as far as kind of the rest of my face I even primed my face which really helps me from getting oily too quickly but this foundation just kind of did not hold up to the oils in my face and I'm like real I'm literally a grease ball so I'm just going to quickly blot my face and powder up so I can continue doing this video because I look really gross and shiny so to talk more about the product as far as it wearing throughout the day um, I don't feel like it's quite it feels that heavy on your skin 
but um, as far as the feel of the foundation, I have very sensitive, um, oily, acne-prone skin and the feel of the foundation, it kind of made my skin itchy on areas um, like my temples and especially on the dry spots in my face, it kind of made it itchy and it reminded me of the original formula for the Bare Essentials foundation. Um, I know they took out one ingredient, I'm not sure what it was, but that one made my skin itchy as well. So this kind of has the same feeling, I'm not sure if it was the powder that gave me that feeling or the liquid foundation and in general as far as combining both of them. So as far as my conclusion on the product, if you were just looking for maybe an inexpensive foundation to try, I mean it's still worth a try. It is a very heavy coverage foundation and if you don't have sensitive skin and you can wear pretty much anything, I think it would be a good foundation to try. This could be a good foundation to try if you have normal skin maybe. If you have extremely oily skin like I do, um, you may have to work with it a little. I already primed my face when I apply this foundation and it still made me super duper oily within a couple of hours and I'm not really a fan of that. I like my foundations to hold up well, especially because my skin is really, really oily. If you have dry skin, I'd be wary of wearing this maybe. Uh, make sure you moisturize your face really well because upon application, this foundation is quite wet but it applies to really, really a matte finish and it kind of just like sticks to your face once it dries. So it can stick to dry areas of your face if you have dry skin. As far as the conclusion on the powder, I'm not sure if I'll be continuing using this since it did my, make my skin kind of itchy, so I may have to work with it. I do have other powders in my collection that are maybe a little bit more gentle than this powder. I know this powder works a lot for a lot of people, but for me it's just because of my skin type, it just didn't work out for me quite well. As far as the concealer, I'm not a big fan of the concealer whatsoever. I'm, um, I regret purchasing the concealer because it's just way too dry, way too light, and it doesn't... I mean, as far as concealing, it did conceal it, but it just it feels so dry on underneath the eyes, and it's not something, you know, it's that area of the eye that you don't really want to kind of mattify, especially since it's a drier area on your face. So that pretty much concludes this review. I hope you guys find this helpful, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Thanks for watching. Bye!